Speaking of athletics, I remember many years ago I had come on the show where I was singing the glory of, yeah, Lionel Messi. And you were like, who? Right. Who's Lionel Messi? And then you mentioned some MMA fighter that I'd never heard of. And I remember your exact response. You said, you looked at me and said, how dare you, sir? <laughs> uh, let me flip it back to you. How okay. dare you? So are you now, you are a Messi fan finally? You've come around to the, to the truth? Well, he's an amazing soccer player. I mean, oh, that goal. Well, there's no denying. Okay, well, let me. Let, since I'm on the number one show in the he's world. He's a wizard. Didn't they offer him like some fucking insane amount of money oh. and he just said no? S Saudi Arabia. How much did they offered? A different him? guy just got offered a billion dollars for one year. Yeah, Mbappe. What? Mbappe, yeah. Mbappe. What? Yeah. A billion for a year? Well, 330 of that is so that he can transfer to the team, and then 771 is for yeah. his services to yeah. play soccer for a year. Jesus. They're buying everybody, the Saudis. And LeBron, Jesus. LeBron said if they offered him, he'd fucking take off. And play they have bit. so much money. But let me tell you something. LeBron will become Saudi Arabian <laughs> king. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be the king of basketball over there. That's right. Uh, what? Yeah. That is so crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, December 18th, 2022, World Cup final. You talk about the, the power, the emotional power of sports, right? My family and I were sitting and watching the World Cup final, and we had... Uh, uh, the uh, the extent to which we were emotionally vested in Messi winning the World Cup can only be can only demonstrate the beauty of sports, right? Because here's yeah. a guy that right we've never met him. Right. We he, we're not Argentinian. Right. Right. He doesn't know that we're alive. Right. And right, yet right. it's life and death for us that he should. I mean, it was so harrowing. I don't know if you watched the game. That at one point, my son, who's 11 years old, said, "I I can't watch this anymore. I'm going to have a heart attack." Uh, that's the the power of sports that it can pull us in and it can make us truly tribal. And on my case, before you before you in, uh, interject, it was kind of driven. My desire for him to win was driven by a, really a purity strand. It was that it seemed cosmically unjust for the greatest soccer player of all time to not have won the World Cup. Mm. So when he won it, to me, it seemed like the world is right. Beauty has won. <sighs> I get it. Look at That's this awesome. And I, sh I should add, what a guy, right? Humble, sweet, family man. What's fascinating to me is as happy as they are, the people on the other team that were rooting for the other team, they're devastated right now. Yeah. That's, that's the weird thing about sports. Yeah, you yeah. can get so attached to what's happening that a loss is like really a loss. Yeah. Can't believe we fucking lost to Kansas City. <laughs> Well, in, in, in my first book ever, 2007, the Evolution of Basic Consumption, I talk about studies, not my studies, I'm, I was citing other works, that looked at what happens to the testosterone levels of fans as a function of whether their team wins or loses. Of How course, do you test that? Well, it's, <laughs> well, it's been tested. Uh, you just take salivary assays of fans as their team is winning oh, or losing. you can get the testosterone yeah. levels from that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm, interesting. Yeah, and so, wow. now what? It's not surprising, as you would know as a, right. as a fighter, that if y you and I fight and you defeat me, your testosterone level goes up, my testosterone level goes down. Like a video game. Like a video game. Uh, except what's happening here is that there is a vicarious endocrinological response. The fans are having the same increases in their testosterone levels or decreases as a function of their team winning or not. Uh. That's quite extraordinary. And that shows you why it we become so bonded to our favorite players and so on. We are really going through this battle with them. Yeah, that's it's really the case with fighters. When people have a fighter that they're really a giant fan of and that person gets l beaten in a devastating manner, yeah. oh, it's so heartbreaking. There's even studies, by the way, that have looked at what happens to sexual behavior of fans after their team wins or loses. So if if let's say you if your wife is upset that you're not you haven't been producing in the bedroom, she should pray that the husband's favorite team wins because if he wins, he has an in, increase in testosterone mm. level, increases their libidinal drive. Mm. And so we're but animals. It's just it's just attaching so much of your own emotions 
to something completely out of control and it, just rooting on it. Exactly. Austin has a team, right? Oh yeah, they have a. It's the only real professional team. So, in the town. are you willing on your show to commit to inviting Dr. God Saad to a game when Inter Miami comes over? Because God should see well, Lionel yeah, Messi I, in in person. I would be happy to do that if I am going to be here while that is happening. So I have a lot of commitments. You know, yes. I don't necessarily know that I'll, I don't know when that is, yeah. you know. But would you, would you want to go? But if, yes, 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 yes. If I was free, I 100% want to go with you. Oh! I really enjoyed it. it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. That's amazing. You, you know, just made my day. You made me happy. Matthew of- McConaughey, who's the coolest. Yeah. S- such a good guy. Yeah. He's one of the owners, too. So, so he's there. Of Austin. Yeah. Oh, is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In soccer, of course, you've had this perennial discussion about you know Messi versus Ronaldo I, I don't really think there is a debate Messi is much better but I also am I admire his humility right because mm. if there ever was someone who should have a chip on his shoulder it should be Messi probably the most famous person in the world who's done it all and yet he really walks around as though he's he's nobody on the other hand Ronaldo is a big showboat if you ask Ronaldo who's the greatest player ever he'll say it's me whereas if you ask Messi he'll list 10 people and he won't put himself on that list mm. and so there there is there is a way by which he engages in his personal conduct that I think is really admirable that you know he re- truly is a role model. Right. Yeah, that's beautiful.